Good morning students, today we are going to look at the life of famous American writer, poet and literary critic Edgar Allan Poe. Yes, the same author who is also known as inventor of detective fiction genre. Even Arthur Conan Doyle, the brilliant mind behind the iconic Sherlock Holmes was inspired by the detective short stories of Edgar Allan Poe. One of the most mysterious questions in literary history revolves around the death of Edgar Allan Poe and there are numerous theories and reasons behind the mysterious death of the famous American writer. So in this video we will look at the complete biography of Edgar Allan Poe and we will also try to find the answer, try to investigate, discuss the circumstances surrounding the death of one of the most prominent authors in literature. But before beginning this video if you are one of those students who are preparing for any competitive exams in English literature whether it is GATE, CUET, UGC NET then you can simply check out our courses and study material on our official website limitlessliterature.com. You can check the link in the description below to know more about our books and courses and now without any further ado let's begin with this video the real name of American writer was Edgar Poe. He was born in 1809 in Boston and died in 1849 at the age of 40. His father David Poe and mother Elizabeth Poe were actors and they were suffering from financial troubles and his father was not able to cope up with the hardships of his life. He turned to alcohol. Later on his father uh, ran away leaving the wife and the three children Edgar Poe, Henry Poe and Rosalie Poe. Uh, things began to change into new direction. Now what happens is that the mother also died of tuberculosis and after the death Henry was left in the care of paternal grandparents okay so the parents grandparents uh, took care of Henry whereas Rosalie and uh, Edgar Allan Poe was adopted by a couple uh, like uh, Rosalie was adopted by some McNeese family whereas Edgar was adopted by John Allen and Francis Allen so from here he got the middle name Allen Edgar Allan Poe that is from John Allen all right his older brother was also a poet and a great talent yes in fact Edgar Allan Poe was influenced with the writings of his elder brother Henry and he also got into the habit of writing poems short stories and other writing format after getting inspired and Henry and Edgar Poe these two brothers used to stay in touch with uh, through letters and Edgar Poe uh, father John was a rich tobacco merchant actually the couple did not have a child so they adopted Edgar as their son not legally adopted but yes the parents and the couple took care of Edgar a uh, lot of care okay so Edgar was provided uh, with a good education he was sent to a good school and provided everything in a great manner the family took care of every single thing Edgar Allan Poe was also a genius child he behaved good well mannered and everything that can be expected from a young school student. Moreover, Allen family took a lot of proud in their son. Edgar used to entertain the guests at dinner by reciting long passages of poetry. So in these dinners what happened was that Edgar started drinking alcohol and this habit of alcohol began as a part of his daily routine throughout his life. So that was the first instance when he savored that uh, alcohol and that he got the kick from alcohol. Okay. So now Edgar claimed that he never got the love and affection from the parents from his mother and father. Although he was given pocket money and all the luxury of life but his parents didn't love him. But researchers say that it was not so. From the very beginning Edgar Allan Poe did not have emotional stability he was very sensitive uh, he was a sensitive child and that's why we see he became a greatest writer in American literature so his parents used to give him the normal affection that is expected from a parents but it was insufficient for Edgar Allan Poe he always wanted more affection more love from the parents okay so in 1826 Edgar Allan Poe joined University of Virginia here also Edgar proved to be a genius student he was brilliant in Latin French and other subjects but now he was away from his family he became friends uh, like he became friends with other students other wealthy students who were also rich they have the rich background so now all these young people started enjoying the freedom of life Edgar also started drinking recklessly he started gambling yes he did not like the alcohol that much but he loved that kick that alcohol gives okay so he wanted that kick so there are instances there are researchers who say that he could drink a glass of alcohol in just one gulp okay and he started getting into the habit of gambling also side by side and during his college education he gambled a lot and he was in debt 
of two thousand dollars yes two thousand dollars is a big amount now in 2023 it's approximately one lakh seventy thousand indian rupees so you see in 2023 this much has uh, these twenty two thousand dollars have a lot of value but now Edgar Allan Poe was living in 1820s. So you can see uh, $2,000 was a great, great amount at that period of time. His father, John Allen, was shocked and he called Edgar back to the house. And now here what happens is that the relationship between the father and son starts getting worse. Okay, They frequently argue with each other, they frequently get into fight, they used to uh, fight on money issues, they have a lot of arguments, quarrels and uh, how Edgar could do this. So for two months, both father and son argued continuously and finally Edgar Allan Poe left the house and joined the army in 1827. So now here while training as a soldier, he started writing romantic poetry. He first published a volume of poems in 1827, that is Tamerlane and other poems. That was the beginning of his career. You see, he was writing during a time when the age of romanticism was going in British literature. Uh, we have the poets like William Wordsworth, S.T. Coleridge, John Keats, P.B. Shelley, Lord Byron who were writing at that time. And now here we have Edgar Allan Poe who started imitating these poets of British culture of Britain and started imitating writing poems for American literature. So in the romantic age, he wrote masterpieces like the poem The Raven to Helen and one of the most beautiful poems in English language. He is still widely regarded as central figure of romanticism and of course gothic fiction in american literature coming back to his biography his father john allen intervened that his son has joined the army so he wants to help his uh, son so what happened was he helped him to get a good post in the u.s military academy but here what happened was edgar allen poe was not at all interested in these military discipline instead uh, he used to write poems satires and entertain his colleagues so now one day he bunked from his all the classes and due to this he was dismissed from the military academy also in the year 1929 his mother died and John Allen, his father, married another woman. At this moment, his father wanted to start a new life with a new family and did not want to stay in touch with Edgar Allan Poe. So he disconnected all his ties with Edgar Allan Poe. Meanwhile, Edgar publishes his next volume of poetry, Al Araf, Tam Tamerlane and Minor Poems. But it did not help much him financially. He was still a non poet and writer. Generally, the writers do not uh, get success overnight, like uh, they have to keep on working for seven years, eight years, and keep on publishing work one after another before someone else can recognize their work. So, it was the same case for Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar started writing in the year 1827. He published his first work, and then it took him six to seven years. Uh, like in 1835, he got some sort of success, a little bit of success. He got a little bit of fame, but not financial. Uh, he was not financially free. He was still in the burden of finances. Yes, of course, he started earning a little amount of money through his writing. And yes, he is also considered as the first writer who is living life as a full time writer. Yes, he was poorly paid writer. And when his short stories started getting popular, it is said that he was ashamed of himself. Like he did not have the good clothes to wear to appear into the society. So he could he was financially so much uh, poor he had so much burden on him so during this period also Poe uh, drank alcohol to excess okay in the next year in 1831 his elder brother also died due to heavy drinking and there was uh, no support from Edgar's father Poe has to earn his living by himself so in 1836 he marries a young girl a 13 year old girl it was normal at that period of time that you are getting uh, married with, an, with a young woman with a young girl so she was Virginia Clem she was the cousin of Edgar Poe. They both were in love with each other. Edgar Poe career also getting started uh, stable during 1836. He started working with magazines, publications and reviewing a lot of literary texts. So yes, during this time we saw the powers of Edgar Allan Poe in the field of literary criticism. Even it has been said that New Criticism or I.A. Richards or T.S. Eliot worked on the ideas propounded by Edgar Poe. Yes, it was Edgar Poe who brought revolution in 
in the field of literary criticism by reviewing the works of others and the theory which was later accepted by new criticism after 78 years ago like he started writing in 1830 and he was accepted uh, the groundwork done by new critics in 1920s you see uh, they were inspired new critics were inspired by the theories of Edgar Poe so he was having a suitable income at that period of time not rich but something to keep the soul and body together and he was also publishing poems one after another his poems are songs of sorrow he used to talk about women uh, who are dead in the poems uh, he talks about the past love and also about the madness so madness was something unconscious and yes we can see uh, the depression of poet in those poems in those works right from the childhood we have seen that edgar was stubborn and never listened to anyone he did what he wanted to do uh, so that madness was there in the poetry he could have achieved a lot of success but he struggled with alcohol and other drugs and he lost a job as a magazine editor in 1837 due to heavy drinking which caused him significant financial stress and then after a few years he moved to writing short stories yes that was the first time any writer came up uh, with the idea of writing fiction writing short short stories yes more than his poems he is known for writing some brilliant short stories gothic and detective short stories so it was around 1840s he started writing short stories some of the popular short stories were the fall of the house of usher 1839 the pit and pendulum 1842 the telltale heart 1843 the black cat 1843 the pline letter 1843 the cask of amontillado 1846 he received acclamation in the year 1845 with the publication of raven yes and all these stories are dark in nature dark themes psychological depth vivid imaginary madness guild supernatural themes so at this time he was at peak of his career but an unfortunate thing happened and that was the death of his wife virginia clam due to tuberculosis and they were so poor at that time that she didn't even get the proper bedding and uh, this death caused a lot of disaster to edgar Allan poe and after that he was excessively consuming alcohol drugs uh, which many people believe that became a reason of his death According to Charles Baudrillard, Edgar Allan Poe was planning for suicide for a long time. Charles Baudrillard was the same person who translated a lot of Poe's work. In fact, he was one of the reasons Poe uh, works were admired in Europe. So he translated his works into French language and spread across the Europe. So he was a contemporary of Edgar Poe. He also wanted to meet him, but it never happened. In 1849, Poe was found at the Baltimore polling booth in someone else's clothes. He was shabbily dressed. He was unconscious. It has been said that some political party and drugged a lot of people at that time and forced these peoples uh, to give the vote for a specific candidate so Poe was among uh, one of those people who was drugged and given the vote to a specific candidate other studies also say that it was a suicide he was depressed and was overdosed he was taken to the hospital and he died early morning on October 7th 1849 uh, it was uh, the same Charles Bordilla also said he was planning his suicide for one one year so that can be a suicide also but it can also be a uh, uh, something that was uh, made by the political parties that they drugged all these people uh, to make them vote for their candidates and then it was reported that the last word of Edgar Allan Poe was Lord help my poor soul so that was the end of one of the greatest writers ever born in the history of America and with this uh, we also come to the end of this video in case you love watching this video do let me know so that we can continue to make such detailed videos biographies of the uh, writers of the poets Alright, so do let me know in the comment section below. I will see you soon in the next video. That's it for this. Thank you.